everything set up because somebody was nagging the heck out of me to get started before I was ready. Imagine who on earth could that be? All right, now I have to let everybody know and I'm behind. Okay. Streaming info. Okay, letting everybody know that I am about to stream. Ah, crap, I forgot to change the just shopping tonight. Oy, oy, oy. It's not going to change it, though. Bummer. It's still going to show it. Just shopping. What you going to do? All right, all right, all right. Twitchcraft. I have no coffee. Totally wasn't ready yet. Ow, hand hurts. Or, yes, so it has a network, okay. I thought that that was what we're supposed to, oh, whatever. Ow. Everything hurts. Okay, here we are. <sighs> Crap, wrong hand. More, wrong glove, actually. Okay, left hand is still really screwed up. I'm not sure what's going on, and I kind of think that I may have to make an une unexpected earlier trip to the um, rheumatologist about it. Because, um, by the way, that was EHT, just in case you're looking for a preview that EHT does furniture previews for shopping. So I know a lot of you were asking about that. Excuse me, I'm still waking up. Doobs! See, you're just wrong. Twerkmeyer! You know what's funny, Don Bot, is that I totally think that, that Cardi would call it Twerkmeyer. I could totally see him doing that. Beyushi, all my peeps. Mr. Uh, Mr. Griffin has been nagging me to get on all morning. Being mean. I wasn't ready yet. It's like, I gotta do my makeup. I'm hurting. My hands are swollen. I'm in pain. And he's like, wine, wine. I could have read War and Peace twice. Anything I can do I'm, I'm summarizing. Yeah, well, and Faye Pixie is Kriya. She changed her name. Because... These are my friends. Sour line jellies, jellies. I don't know. I don't really like the, the snot. I think a little, you know, Argonians do have loose morals. That's, that's entirely true. Um, I guess not really. Like it doesn't, I really don't find did I say wine? Oh, wine. W-H-I-N-E. <laughs> I was whiny. Um, or he was. I can't remember. You know, you probably would. Honestly, it's like, I don't know what's up with the, with them, but they are pretty, excuse me. I'm still waking up. Argonian storyline is pretty sexual. Which is really creepy since they're lizards. No one else thinks so? Plus I had to do all of my writs so you guys didn't have to watch me doing writs. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna judge. I mean, I don't care who they have sex with, but I'm saying they do a lot of it. Don't you think so? 
Don't you think your eyes are as lovely as ponds of mud in the middle of the jungle? That is a weird one. No, she's, she's got a point. Bayushi has a point. Yeah, the history. Get it? The history? Never mind, that was terrible. Thanks for the follow, G Belm. Which reminds me, before I start looking at houses, I need to send people stuff. G Belm. Sorry I'm late this morning. I wasn't sure I was going to stream. I'm in pain. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. Finish it. I need coda flowers. Well, that's probably true. You know, they should have had it come out on Valentine's Day with all the sex in Merkmire. Twerkmeyer, as my beloved dog Matt says. G Bell got a prezi. Now Bro Storm, who I don't actually know if they're on this channel. Storm Follow. Thank you. I have a feeling that won't go through. That's true. That went through. Look at that. That went. That's awesome. Let me go to old Miss Bell. <clears throat> oh, if they bend over enough. <laughs> you can see the twerk. Man, did you guys all watch the heart stuff yesterday? Um, some really good hearts. Was that yesterday? I think that was yesterday. They were fun. Um, I like that Jay Hart, when he saw my, my heart, my chocolate heart he immediately started trying to guess what all the flavors were because the reason why i like that is because i actually did try to think of what each flavor was as i put it together so just the fact that he was paying attention to that actually made me feel nice um it's like wow yeah he didn't catch which one was white chocolate i thought that was the most obvious but i guess not Turn off frog collar, please. No, shut up. There. Frog collars must shut up. I need to do farmer stuff. I'll, I'll have to, yes. I'll be over in a little bit. Just let me collect things. Ah, sorry, falling asleep. I don't know why I have so many baked potatoes. I really don't need that many baked potatoes. <clears throat> Do we need the grapes? We know, we know. Keg would work. All right. I don't need that many. I don't know. All right, let me sit, hit a rando first and then I'll look at everybody's houses that want me to look at their houses for fun and profit. You know, I was probably going to stream. I don't need you to pick up me. I 
turned it off. Yeah, I know. I made a little heart in a in a just. I put a heart in the jester's box for him. That was enough. I didn't think that I needed to make a potato heart because I think you know there comes a point where the heart where the joke is is overdone. So I was trying not to overdo it. That would have been a good one. I have lots of jester's banners. More than I could ever, ever use. So this is Zared Corstens. Now, Zared is a viewer. And this, I believe, is her entry to the hearts contest. But it's also, I think, just her regular house. And this was the one that... Um, she started messaging me in the background say uh, on Twitch saying I've been taking care of my husband who has, you know, illness right now. He's very ill and uh, I haven't been able to enter my entry so I didn't make it in time. And I said you need to tell Jay Hart that and make sure that he actually like it looks at it anyway because I mean obviously you have stuff going on in your life and and people have to understand that and so we got him to actually look at this entry and I'm really glad because this was dedicated to her husband who is very ill and so it's just the sweetest the sweetest heart look at that with the heart background and everything I know we looked at it yesterday but her her reasoning was so sweet she said because he is my heart and I just, I was like so touched by this whole thing that I was like, you know what? I'm so glad that Jay Hart looked at it because that's what she said. She, and you know what the worst part is? He has heart trouble. That's what Zared's taken care of him for is he has massive heart problems. So it's like it all kind of comes together in one great big heart thing. And it was so sweet and I hope she wins just because it's like how hard this must have been to put together thinking about what's going on in your life and, and going on with your husband and just like it almost makes me cry just thinking about it. And look at I love these tables because Jay Hart was just like, oh, she just flipped them upside down for the table. But that's not all she did. I think those are one of the coins. I could be wrong, but I think that's one of those orcish coins. Maybe I'm crazy, but it's a great table. And there's a Vivek. Of course there is. Kitty better leave before sexy times go down, though. You know, that's all I gotta say. Lovati, lovati. I can't tell, but it looks like it could be. I don't know. I just thought this was so sweet. They did, and I think she, she spent... She spent a good amount of time, you know, trying to build it when she had a lot of really serious stuff. <gasps> good Lord, this room. Look at that. Did I, did Jay Hart look at this room? This is insane. Uh, no one told me this. <laughs> this part is incredible. This is amazing. Jaw drop. <laughs> Jaw dropped. <laughs> I am so crazy. This is amazing. Shut up. It's not just bling. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's so romantic in here. Okay, bling helps, but it's it's also pretty romantic. And look at this. Look at this bar. This is crazy good. Little hidden nooks of romance. and uh, I mean, you know, that one room was really sweet, but then you come in here and it's like, there's a whole separate section that doesn't normally exist <laughs> that she just built out of nothing. And... It's beautiful. It reminds me of a really fancy, like, 
because it's in a spam. My, my dad loves spam. It's ridiculous. I, I'm ashamed to even admit that. But oh, it just reminds me of like Ritz Carlton or something. <laughs> Fried. You can fry it. That's just beautiful. No, I really hadn't seen anyone. It's very fancy. It reminds me of a hotel lobby, but like a really much more beautifully decorated one. I don't know what the, I guess the modern touches remind me of the lobby. I can't, I can't explain why it just struck me like that, but it's so beautiful. Like a fancy hotel, not like, you know, a, a lame hotel like, you know, Holiday Inn or something. I mean, I'm talking about like a really snooty high-end New York City type of hotel entry, but wow, girl. Nesteris, hello. This kind of took kind of took me by surprise. <laughs> Was not expecting. That's cool though. This is Sitchik Villa, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Tierna, remind me. Are did you do the house which had a little bit of farm? Like, did you have, like, little tools and little potted plants in the courtyard to, of one of your homes? I'm trying to remember if it was you or Teza. I want to say it was you, though. It remind. I feel like it was you. And I wanted to um, make sure. Because I wanted to look at those tools again. All right, maybe it was Teza then. Okay. All right, Don Bat, where do you want me to go? Oh, man, heek. That's cute. So yeah, I'm, this morning I pointed out to my husband, said, you know, it looks like Grant's getting even bigger, even though we have him on the higher meds. So it looks like we're going to step him up to the highest meds we possibly can and see if he starts losing again. I think his illness is getting worse. I can't imagine why he's having, why he's getting so much bigger, like out of nowhere. That's it, Tierna. Laura Five, was that? That's, I might be the one I'm thinking of. Laura Five. Does Gardner, I don't think Gardner has yard. It must've been maybe the Riven Spire one, the Ravenhurst. I'm not sure. One of them has it. Okay, romantic. No effects. All right, thank you, Tierna. That's it. Appreciated. I will take a look at it. I don't own that house, so I didn't know. I should know, but I didn't. Very crafty section over here for the craftings. And then the prayings. And the bat. You need to put, like, Molok Ball, like, behind Vivek. We have to make reference to his naughtiness. Oh, okay. I've very seen very few gardener houses. That's the weird thing. What's back here? Oh, pretty! Good usage of the water. Yes. To symbolize purity. Yeah. Hello, Garish. It is very nice. 
This guy might dance on your head, though. Beep. Can you imagine? You're taking a bath, and you start to, like, kind of doze it off, and then all of a sudden, this guy starts just dancing on you. Wow. That's incredible. I didn't know about that. I do like this, this se entire separate section though. That's really a good usage. And redoing the floors so they're not dirt is also a really nice step in the more classier direction. And you added all the flowers. This table is so magnificent. I'm in love with this table. Now, let me point something out to you. Um, one of the people in my Discord pointed out that the table was, that the chairs are messed up. If you look carefully, you can notice that the, the rivets are cut in half, I guess, is what they were pointing out on the, on the chair. Like they're not fully, that they're like kind of cut off and that they're messed up a little bit. But I can't really see, it's so subtle. I can't really even tell. I don't know. Hey, Eula. I can change that on her, or, or on you, rather. Her or him, it, I know you don't care. There you go. They really were, but that's because he made it all about Ivory. I don't know why he did that. That was goofy, though. You uh, have a lot of reading to do. You better get to it. <laughs> sensual, there's such a thing as sensual orc music? Dear God, who knew? Did I miss anything? Because this is beautiful, though. This is very romantic. Even with the scary stuff tucked in here and there. I like it. The bat is really cute. Oh, have you seen Cardi's book pile house? I've shown almost everyone. It doesn't. Cardi's book house is awesome. So you tell me, Don Bat, have you seen Cardi's house? I'll make it quick, but if you haven't, Cardi's book house. Okay, now you're going to see it. Now you're going to see it. Sorry for everyone who's already seen it. But the reaction of people who haven't is so amazing. So the orcs actually came up with Never Gonna Dance Again? Who knew? See, I thought that, that George Michael was just a hottie. He doesn't remind me of, a whore, of an orc. Um, well, I'll turn the lights on once we get inside, but just remember, Cardi works for Zoss. Otherwise, this house would have cost probably what a real house costs in real life. No joke. I hope he doesn't get rid of it. it it's, it's got such a great uh, reaction <sighs> from people. Come on. Come on. All right. It is supposed to be Apocrypha. Let me turn on the light. And let us start from the beginning. So this is Apocrypha.
Yeah, Beige, I yeah, somehow don't think you're going to be able to do this. No offense or anything. But it just keeps going. But here you go. This is what it looks like with the effects on and the darkness. So you got the spinning paper. Gosh, I didn't ask him. I probably could ask him. I'll ask him the next time I see him. But none of us will ever have, like, this many. So this is uh, Hermaeus Mora's um, part of Oblivion. This is um, Apocrypha. Well, they're getting ruined as it is because look at all the water. So these books are, like, soaking wet and probably smells like mold. Let's be honest. All right, moving right along. Move right along. You buy with gold? Oh, you mean you buy crates with gold? You. Yeah, I bought one of them too. I like books, but I don't like, I don't need to swim in them like, like, what's that guy? The duck. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> squirrel. Let's go see Squirrel. <laughs> oh my gosh what's going on here why am i trapped what squirrel what have you done this is squirrel's rosy lion i'm trapped it's like a shark cage am i wrong or is this like a shark cage is there a knife in that snowman's hand? Wait, I can't even... Wait, I walked right through the cage. How did I do that? He's gonna kill me! A butcher knife in that hand! And an axe! Why are they trying to kill me? <laughs> this is scary! What have they done? That's funny, though. Well, I mean, I guess she really didn't have much choice because, you know, I think that's really funny, though. I feel so, I feel so murdered. <laughs> Clever. Man, all the surprises this morning. Totally unexpected stuff is unexpected. It's like a snowman shark tank. I feel so murdered. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> I don't even remember saying that. <laughs> I'm like crying laughing. <laughs> that was really good, squirrel. <laughs> I feel so murdered. <laughs> it's just we've had two really amazingly unexpected houses in a row and squirrel completely cracks me up with that one i don't know if you guys knew that was happening 
I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so this is Rockzilla. I don't recognize the name, but I wonder if this is a, a Valentine's Day en entry. Uh, and I'm a big fan of using baby guar as, as babies. But you got to wonder, two high elves have a baby guar for child. Something, somebody's been having sex with, uh, with some Argonians, is, if you ask me. I mean, maybe that's where guar come from. I think dad should, should get a clue. <clears throat> Baby Guar. <laughs> Guar mailman. <laughs> Guar plumber. <laughs> or, or rather, I should say Argonian plumber. And they make a Guar somehow. Look at the deer. Sorry, I'm not trying to be... It's just they're, <laughs> they had a war. It wasn't a, a little baby elf. Oh, wow. Somebody did something to their crotch that's making it smoke. That can't be comfortable. See, I don't even need to. Oh my God, I, I'm not even trying guys. I just come in here and it's all laid out for me. I do like, whoa. Okay, so this is, this is before, cause she's got the flower in her hands. And this is after something went terribly, terribly wrong. The baby guar is just bloody stuff she's dead with a burning crotch and presumably that's dad <sighs> this is twisted did did jay hart see this one because this i've not i have not seen this is really twisted i'm assuming that this fire dog did it exactly exactly what's going on back here what is I'm so, oh, <laughs> oh, what, what are you up to? What are you, oh, either he's a necro, maybe he's trying to bring her back to life. I'm so confused by this. I love it though. You know, the people all died, but the flowers survived. <clears throat> yeah, seriously. This is a great story. I need to see more. Tell me more. What happens next? Tell me! You can't lock me out. I need to know. Does he bring her back or not? How can you, how can you do this to me? You must finish the story. Where's the next step? <gasps> I am so disappointed that I can't figure out more. I want to know what else happens. <laughs> I want to see the end. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is there more back here? Or will there be more? Da da. No, that's it. Roxilla, if Roxilla finishes this, I need to see what else happens. There's got to be more to the story. I'm going to message them. There we go. I have to know. It's like a, it's like a, I'm like on a cliffhanger now, you know? I mean, I want to see if, did she come back to life? Is she normal? Is she a crazy monster thing? Is she going to kill him? Is she going to, you know, get revenge for the baby guar or something? 
<laughs> I must know. I must know. Punky Choo. Pundings. Man, that was it. It's like everything. It's good practice leaving a review on someone's fan today. Well, I sent them a message. I said, I simply must know what happens next. Well, the uh, Garish, I hate to say it, but the baby was reduced to bloody rags. So I think the baby was killed. I don't think he tried to bring the baby back either. It was just a really messed up story. <laughs> so we've had a lot of surprises today. Um, I think we came from like a surprise house with an extra gorgeous bit, a surprise murder of myself, and now we're on to a what's the next like cliffhanger. So this is Punkichi. Let's see if we get attacked or murdered or some horrible thing in here. Very floral. I mean, very lush, really. Poor, I know, I feel bad for the Guar. The Guar didn't deserve that. It's got a little crafting area. Oh, I hear the garage door. The husband is leaving for the coffee. Man, way to my heart is right through the coffee. happened here what I honestly don't know what that's supposed to be did that just fall over I mean like aren't those supposed to be just face straight up like, I don't get it I don't think they're supposed to be on their side and what on earth is going on in here I am very confused Is it just me? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> you know, okay, something's going on. Either there's some sort of... Either they haven't finished it and they published it by accident or there's a poltergeist. I like the idea of thinking there's poltergeist. Because if you look at this as if there's a poltergeist... It kind of works for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's done, but I like the idea of the of the poltergeist. I've done that. Shut up. But it seems like no. It seems like all the gardening's done. Oh wow! Look at how pretty. Except for the smoking skull. That may not be so pretty. Okay, that's hilarious, though. It really is a smoking skull. Look at its mouth. It's got, it's got an actual, like, cigarette in its mouth. That is some funny crap. The, that is, people, you people have a sense of humor, I tell you. <laughs> I keep finding the weirdest shit. <laughs> what is up with people? <laughs> Yo, Joey, get me a bagel with a schmear. <laughs> oh, at least I found the treasure. Okay, am I missing anything? Oh, pretty. Look at that beach. That shore is really nice. Ah! <laughs> I suck. I didn't think I was going to die. I forget when I don't have my, uh, my, oh, no. See, I like this in the water. This is a good use. <laughs> this is why we have the stairs. Okay, but I, I usually have feather fall on, and I didn't expect to splat, okay? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that fireplace. What a great use of those painted rocks. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. What is this? Seraphi, hello. <laughs> my DPS is bad. Okay, so Abner is smoking crack. Everyone, just so you know. It's gorgeous, but it's also like tongue in cheek funny. Oh, that's nice. Shut up. No one likes you. 
I more believe that the auger is the one smoking the crack. <laughs> you need to. You need to put. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if I get Pat to do his charity stuff, if I could get Neil Gaiman to do something too. Anyway. I don't know what Second Vision is. <laughs> He's right. Too bad is right. <laughs> it's going to be an ongoing, like, argument all day long. Who can be more snooty and know it all -y? Beautiful. Isn't he dead? Isn't Terry Pratchett dead? How could you do him? And and for everyone who wants to uh, get a new mount i suspect the next mount should be a chicken mount and it should use the magic from the snow globe so we all get shrunken down to the size of a giant of the chicken and then we can ride on the chicken i'd like that magic i think we need to use it yeah and he died kind of angry too he and um the, the, the other person i was thinking about was um this is gorgeous, by the way, Punky Chu. Great job, and thank you for the laughs. Some of it was really funny. Yeah, I think um, the other person who was really angry at the end of his life, who I've been wondering what he would say these days if he were still alive, was George Carlin. He didn't have Alzheimer's, but near the end of his life, I saw him in, in Vegas. <clears throat> And he was such an angry bear. Uh, he was so angry and it made me sad. Like I really wanted to know, like he went from having a little twinge of hope in his comedy to just being angry. Well, Lavathi, I mean, hey, you know, if it works, it works. Uh, but I think that's a chicken. Right. But yeah, so I think that that I'm really curious what George Carlin would have said these days if he was his original self and not not the really angry near the end guy that he became. It was it was really kind of bad. Like we were in I went with my ex-husband and he was actually like picking on the people who come to see him. Like he was being mean to the audience. It was really odd. 502 items. Lady Commander, this pleases me because I, I feel sad when no one else comes and visits houses, so I like to know that I'm the least one person who's come <clears throat> and visited. Nice gardening use of the wagon wheel. Hmm. I don't know what they would have done. I wonder if Neil Gaiman would it would approach it. Being someone in pain, I understand that. I've got to admit, I'm a little thrown off by the aesthetic, mate. No unpaintings, less than a thousand angles. And <laughs> I quit. Screw you. I'd give it a soft. I don't know. I don't know. I understand what he's saying with that whole thing. Like, I understand the feeling there, but still. So these must be the ones from the trials on the stands. And then this is just crafting and stuff. I wonder why they kept the broken one. <clears throat> I might have added wheels to it, make it look like it's not broken. But I think it would look weird if we did that, because it would still have these pieces coming out from all sides. Yeah. 
Yeah, I had some clients who had Alzheimer's and they were angry people. And I, I feel sorry for them because it's like, I understand that that's actually one of the symptoms of it. Not always, but. Oh, okay. What did he have that was wrong with him? That was causing him pain? Was it the, the. Curious to know, I don't know, actually know what he was suffering with. Or is it just the, oh, okay, Alzheimer's, gotcha. I wonder what the little pipes are supposed to be. <clears throat> Pretty kitchen. Oh, well, that's awful. Yeah. My body doesn't obey my commands either, so I get that. Very sad. That's sort of what happened to Robin Williams. Um, he started to see things not working properly anymore, and he didn't want to go through that. It's a really interesting home. Good job. I liked the outside especially. It's, it's really beautiful floral. Hmm. Rough. Oh, guys, did you notice? I noticed this yesterday. There's something wrong with the waterfalls. They're going too fast. See how, how rough this is? Let me show you something amazing. And I, I sent a comment to, um, <clears throat> I sent a comment to, to Zoss. I don't know if they're going to pay any attention, but there's a, uh, it's like the one in Rimen anyway, was sped up like six to 10 times over what it should be. And you'll see what I mean if it's still doing it. It's like certain parts of the, oh, I see. That's crazy. You guys in, in the UK have some interesting laws. There's some interesting disability laws that are surprising. Look at that. Look at how fast that's coming down. It's like it's on crack. Look at it. That is not how it's supposed to come down. You see what I'm talking about? It's like spastic fast. All right, I thought it was just me. But then I started noticing all of the waterfalls that I saw were just starting to like, no, it's not always, it always, it hasn't always been like this. This is new, Serafi. This is like, I noticed this last night and I think I only noticed it for the first time earlier in the day. And I think it, it may have only started yesterday for all I can tell. This is just zoomy out of control. And I don't, it's all the waterfalls that I found outside of people's homes. It's so weird. So I thought I was going crazy and I actually went up on top of it and it looks just as bizarre from up on top. And I thought it was just me. I was like, wait, no, this must have been this way. Like, why would that change? But look at how fast that's going. I mean, that's insanity how fast that's going. <laughs> I hope that, uh, I hope I can show this to uh, some, some Zoss person and say, hey guys, something's seriously wrong with your waterfalls because they are all really doing a lot of scuba because <laughs> I cannot figure it out. What the hell happened? But the, the water doesn't, is the water moving faster is what I'm trying to figure out. It looks like the regular water is moving faster too. Like, I don't recall it being this, what's the word? Um, like, I don't remember the current being this fast. This current seems like it's too fast too. It's like everything got sped up. 
So it's not just the waterfalls, but the waterfalls show it off the most. Yes, agreed. So I do notice things. And now it's all going to bug you until they fix it. They still haven't fixed the damn uh, backwards backpacks. Now they fucked up their water. So don't ask me. I don't know how they've done it, but it just looks so crazy. It just looks so bad. I'm like fascinated by it. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh God. They do. Or people who pay attention. Hire me. I will constantly pay attention. How's that? I will notice weird shit like this. I was in somebody's, it must have been in somebody's house. I was at Strident and I noticed that the crashing waves were so high. I was like, what the hell is going on? And I realized that it must have been, um, I realized that something was wrong. And then I saw this and I was like, okay, something's wrong. All of the water is messed up somewhere. I don't know why. That's true. Give me my cracking hole. <clears throat> That's funny though. I just noticed these things and it's funny because I haven't heard anyone say anything about it since I noticed it yesterday morning. You'd think that somebody would have noticed it other than me, but it doesn't seem like anyone has. And I know I'm not the only one who pays attention to that kind of thing, so it's just bizarre. I'll post something about it to uh, the forums now that I've reported it. The water is all on crack. Oh, school. This is Kimmy Mai. I wonder if it does it on EU or if it's just NA that has the weirdness. So we've got classroom. Lots of blue light. Whoa. What is that supposed to be shining on? Oh, it's a projector. Derp. Yeah. No, I know. And and the thing is, is yeah. It bugs me too. Believe me. I think they're just, oh, they don't have enough staff. I honestly think they're understaffed for what they, what happened, what they're dealing with. They have too few people. And I can't imagine that with the amount of money that they're bringing in, that one or two more people in their, on their staff would be that much of a profit killer. Let us your. So a nice Sigic school. Oh, it is? Thank you, Lavathi. Wasn't sure if it was just me or an A or what. Oh, okay. So it's, it is in fact a Sigic school. Okay. Well, I like it. And I like that you put like little items on the bookshelves and the floating books too. I like that a lot. It makes it look more realistic. You did a good job. <clears throat> well, we'll see. I guess a Sigic Villa would be good for a Sigic school. I hadn't thought of that. That's kind of hilarious though. I have to be honest. <laughs> I kind of want that bug. <laughs> Is that wrong? Is that wrong of me? Because that's kind of hilarious.
Can I have companions just start showing up? Dar imagine, imagine Darian just showing up half dressed for no reason. That would be hilarious. All right. <laughs> 174 items. Fluffy 2000. Twin arches. Oh, what do we build up here, Fluff? <clears throat> I think we are going to have additional stuff coming up here. This looks like it could be things to come. All right, fine. You you pick who you like and have them show up, Naru or whoever you want. Hmm. Lots of items in the cubbies and storage. All right. <clears throat> All of the things I have sold. Let's see if there's one more. If not, we'll head on over to you. You. I used to be so good about summarizing my theme, my uh, shows on the same day, but since I got sick, I've just not been able to. So I'm a little behind on that. Works in progress. All right, let's go over to EU. I'm looking at farms still. I'm still working on farms. And I'm thinking about arenas for J-Hearts Arena Contest. And I'm trying to decide whether or not... Okay, have a good one, Kriya. Or Faye. Whatever you want me to call you. Um... I need to figure out what I'm going to do for the arena. I'm thinking about doing a teeny tiny little arena. Just a tiny little one. With tiny things in it. I think that would be hilarious. Just a thought. Yes. If I could come up with what would look like an ant. Oops. Yeah, sometimes there's like, something hits you and you're like, that's true. One would be mashed. <laughs> that would be funny. But I would need little weapons and everything. So forks and knives for the weapons and like maybe something on their heads for, for armor. Things like that. Tiny little potatoes, but it would be kind of, kind of a riff on Lil Fox, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, some sort of cutlery. Gosh, I'm going to have to really think about it. Yeah, something small. For the seats. But I would want it to be really small. <laughs> because everybody has, like... It's going to go big, big, I think. And so I like to go bigger in general. So I want to do the opposite and work really small. I'm a weirdo. Ow. All right. Come on. Come on. That's true. An invisible arena? Oh my gosh, the NPC is really tiny would work. I need to figure out the seating. <clears throat> I'll, 
come up with something. All right, I'm on you. It could be really cute. Where's my coffee? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if it was gold, I'd help you out if you're on NA. I forget. But not um, for uh, whichever I call it. I have no brain. Zainert. I need more. More coffee. <clears throat> so this is Zainert's Golden Griffin. I noticed that Lovathi had griffins in her build, in her love heart build. And I was like, oh, her usual griffins that she has with her all the time. How cute. And then, was it was it you, Lovathi, or am I on crack? I thought it was you. It might have been Hach Hachiko-chan. I gotta pay better attention. Yeah, I, I, it must have been Hachiko Chan with the with the griffins. I remember it thinking how cute it was that they used griffins. Sadness. All right, so this is Zyner, who's someone I am only really just getting to know, and this is a hard house to do because you only have thirty slots. But it looks like it's it's a very you know off office type house except for the butterflies, which is neat. Um, maybe office for a tailor. I don't know what they're doing with the, uh, <clears throat> with the symbol of innocence over here, but everything else looks like it's a tailor shop. You've got, you know, like a place to try things on and cloth and dye and all that. And then I become a monkey because of course I do. Monkey! Yes. <clears throat> hmm. You want me to go? Why is it that I, it's, it, it must not be listed as, as an open house. I won't see it. Okay. Mojo. To Matitin. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. <clears throat> you know, um, I have someone who who was doing like picture in picture. They created something that looked like a screen, and then they did a picture in picture from their game and showed a movie over it. But it's like. Don't you realize you could kind of use effects and kind of do something similar like that? Zared, I showed your whore, your house and my jaw dropped when I went into that back room. Holy crap! How did j -Hart not see that back room? It was incredible. <laughs> my jaw dropped. It's like, this is incredible. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> All right, this is Mojo. Yeah, it really was amazing. Uh, no effects, 588 items, horsey types. By the way, you can always watch the video later. By the way, guys, I think someone put the cart before the horse. That was terrible. But, but you see my point? Yes, people were pointing out DJ to this. Very good. Cart before the horse. I honestly made that joke. What's back here? Purdy. Ooh, good use of those bird statue things. DJ to this. Hmm. 
pretty. Let's all get married. I wonder if you put out the, 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 <clears throat> wow, I've never seen anyone build up here. Holy smokes, look at this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing? People are captured and Bainkins and torture and dead people, oh my. Wow. How did I never know you could build up here? Whoops. Hey, dude. Don't kill me, please. Ah! He's got his knife up against me. Thank you for the, the host, Eula. Ah! Splat. <laughs> Again! Second time today. <laughs> No one, no one put up with me. I am so weird. <clears throat> Add lots of crafting stations. Wonder why they put everything outside. Indeed. Wonder why they put everything outside. Latessiar, a sub. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I know, I know. <coughs> if I don't die. Thank you. My hair was getting in my face, so I put it on. That's a really cool, cool way of incorporating those Craglon snacks. snacks. Snack, snack. And a J heart. I am popular today. It's very wild. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know what's going on. I see Talvani and all sorts of mixtures of stuff. Talvani, Nord, Dark Elf, Elsewhere, High Elf, everything. Oh, okay. I probably have. I can start my next show with it. I have some videos I need to show off. Oh, and Merkmeyer. You know, he probably would, so I'm trying really hard to not encourage that. Okay, this is cool. All right, that's neat. So the library, there's a library in here. But then if you go outside, there's a walkway up to the big books and a bedroom. This is neat. This person is building in places that I've never seen anyone build in Matisse. This is really cool. <clears throat> I'm super impressed. I wonder if they put anything in the back here. No, they, they fenced it in. That's neat. Really interesting stuff going on in here. Clever, clever twists on things. Okay, what's back here? Booze, food, kitchen. Interesting. Doing planks on the floor. And then that's huge. That is a huge Argonian, or is that Argonian or is that Bosmer? One of them. And then using all the orc stuff. The lighting is really interesting. Dress lamps usually don't give a lot of lighting, but it's like just enough so that you can see what's going on inside of the cabinets. Really interesting stuff. This person has neat ideas. I are in, I am suitably impressed. Oh, where's my husband with the coffee? I'm gonna die. I need all the coffees in my face now. All right, Lavathi. You're here, right? Lavathi. 
see. And she was here. Yes. We're going to do your potentates. I believe this is the Helm's Deep one, right? Because it says Helm's Deep Fried. That's hilarious. So that means that Jay Hart's looked at this one. But I, I do want to check it out. Helm's Deep Fried. Because I'm in it. I know. And I'm like... <clears throat> This, this build cracked me up so hard. Yeah, but I love the little details that you put, like, you know, all the different characters are actually noticeable. You, like, you can figure out who they are. Now you just have to make it tidy. Excuse me. Goodness, it is snowing hard out all of a sudden. I don't want to go out in this ever. All right, so I have a feeling this is all in the back. Yeah, people went nuts over it. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that one yet, Bayushi. I would like to do that. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Oh, good. I was squeeing. I mean, obviously, potatoes. So I was just squealing. Now, let me make sure I can find it because I'm not the brightest bulb in the box and I don't exactly remember. There it is. There it is. I seize it. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. I mean, the way that you even found a potato is something that looks like a potato is just, and it's just a rock. It's amazing to me. And I love these two. Gimli and everything. With the little hammer. Looks just like a hammer. And the the different people with butcher knives. I wonder, are the butcher knives all axes? Is that what they are? This is hilarious. And then there's me, right there, in case you didn't know. And that's Jay Hart. And he's gonna help. The whole army of, of knives. I love this. I guess I'm the bad guy here, or one of. Oh no, he's dead. Movie face did it. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I haven't watched the the, the movie in like ever. <laughs> I love this potato Indrix. That explains it. He killed. He killed someone. <laughs> Look at that tower. That's no joke. You didn't even just build the potatoes. You also built a real castle there. And it actually looks really damn good. And somehow you managed to do it within the, the item count. I mean, everything here is practically all stone. And yet, it all looks different. It looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. Right here. Dead. Plop. I'm trying to see what you used for the bow. Ah, me needed. No! I got eaten this. Just looking at J Hart. I think he did that too. That must be a I can't even tell what that is. But I got eated. Almost got me. Anyway, I love it. Good job. Ow. 
Okay, I was wondering what that was. I just have to my sheep. Good job. All right, something small of Lorenz before we go over to Plumber Needed, this is called. This should be fast, and we'll get Beiyushi after this. I think she's working on that animation. Unless you want me to do it, and then you'll just move it out of the way. That's up to you, Beiyushi. I'm fine either way. It looks like there is flooding. That is what the name was. Hopefully it will not be poop flooding. Hopefully it will just be water. Okay. I will come right over then after this. I don't have the instructions that J-Hart had though. So you'll have to tell me them. Okay. This is beautiful. I, <clears throat> I'm surprised. I would not have closed off the river, but I get it. And it's actually for caves. This is a really nice cave with all the mushrooms and different plants. Like a lot of people just do blank caves. Oh yeah. You, you need a plumber, dude. I think you got some problems here. And you got some Sheo floating around, but that's, this is, it's really interesting to me that ch the chicken stayed upside down like this, that the chicken didn't manage to go. Matt is still on there as well. It's almost like a tornado hit because tornadoes do weird things like that. Multiple shows. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Okay. Dream chart operates the lift. The hand on the wall brings the crop down. See you sit on the chair. Okay. These are a lot of instructions. I will try to keep them straight. This is hilarious. Why is there light still on? Why is the candle still going? At least this candle's out. That one makes sense. That's some funny shit. I'm dying over this. This guy is hilarious. I feel like it's tumbling through the air. Not really just underwater, but just tumbling. This is great. All right, I'll come, I'll come over now. Which house is this? This is... I forget which house it was. Is this the moon sugar? I think it's your moon sugar. Yeah. Well, I already got this open, so... I'm... I can't come. It won't let me go. I need permissions. I don't have permission to visit your house. It doesn't love me. Okay. Go, go, go. There we go. Yeah, that happens all the time, unfortunately. With me, anyway. I find my houses just reset on their own. Hey, do you notice if the waterfall in Moon Sugar is doing that wonky, super sped up thing as well? Or is it just other places? I'm curious. Okay. All right. So 
A. You get the moon dream shard. Oh, derp. Oh, okay. And now we go on the elevators. Pretty. We can see all the pretty things around us while we go up. This is beautiful. Look at this tower. I mean, this, um, it's like almost like a cathedral entrance. Hard to believe this is moon sugar. Yeah, but Bayushi's insanely good. We're getting lots of surprises today. Oops, didn't mean to shoot at you. It's really cool. This is beautiful. I remember that J Hart screwed it up at one point. <laughs> and then I had to start it over. And I was just watching and going, oh. So first I do, the handle on the wall brings the craft down. So when we get up, we have to look for a handle on the wall. Okay. Lotus, when I get back on uh, NA, I'll send you a Prezi for the subscription. Gosh, it's snowing so hard. I hope he's okay. No messages. Did you do this by hand? You can't have done this by hand. Like all of this building section here. This must have been at least used with some EHT. It's too perfect otherwise. Yeah, no, I understand. All the numbers and everything. No, I, I get you. Believe me, I know. <clears throat> Tell Galen took me forever and it looks like shit. So I get it. Okay, I'm here. Look up at the ship. She's a beauty. That brings the ship down. Look at the lights go on. This is crazy. Sit down in the chair, you pull the lever closer to you. Look at the top just popped up. It's crazy. Okay. Get in the chair. Does it matter what perspective I'm in? I'm gonna put it in first person. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Sit down. And then I pull the switch closer to me. Sit first. I'm in the chair. Why am I in the chair? Am I supposed to be in the chair? Okay, third. goodness we're flying I don't know I still think it looks awesome even if we're not in third person this is crazy I wonder if, if anyone in Zoss has ever actually seen this Yeah, no, I agree. I understand. It just blew shit up, too. Do you want me to redo it? I'll redo it if you want. If 
if I can redo it. So this is, so it blew up that rock is what you guys didn't see and it looked really cool <clears throat> to get through. But we can, we can do it over with third person. I don't know, I was in third person, but for whatever reason, it, it, it popped me back into first person when I sat down. I did try to get out of it. I didn't think I was in third person when I hit the button. But I could have been wrong. Look at all of the destruction, everyone. Alright. Look at it. It's hard to believe that this is moon sugar. Like, you completely built... Should I n not sit in the chair then? That might be an interesting way to try it without me being in the chair. Look at all the destruction. Oh. Yeah. This is the wall you told me I would hit, I think, exploring. That's okay. No worries. That's incredible. I wonder if it would allow me to do third person if I was not sitting. Okay, where are you? At the beginning? Where'd the thing go? That's neat looking. There's stuff going on up there. There we go. What? It didn't want me to use it. Oh, here it comes. Okay. We'll just wait for it to come down. At least you, you know, at least you put lots of really cool things to look at. So we're not just like twiddling our thumbs or anything. It's all beautiful. You know, somebody could build this house, this tower dome thing alone, and it would have been enough to just look at. Whoop. It just went. Okay. Okay, it just totally reset itself again. I don't know that I'm going to let it do that a third time. That's frustrating. Did I do something wrong? I just walked on it and looked at it. Oh, 
there it is. That's just so weird. Takes a moment. Oh, well, yeah. 700 items animation might be a problem, yeah. Am I going or not? Do I turn the dream shard on or off? I'm trying to figure it out, girl. All right, tell you what. How about I show the video <laughs> next time because I have a, no clue. Oh, okay. On, turn it on. It's on. I'm not going anywhere. Animations are annoying. They're amazing when they work. I think it's working for you and not for me. <coughs> there we go. Whee. She told me the shard. She said, uh, the first button, the first thing she said was A was to activate the shard. I don't know. I don't understand animations as well as, as Bayushi does, so. Oh, somebody's dancing. I just think it's hilarious what your body is doing on screen. It's like you're mushing down. And it looks like I'm walking just really slowly, even though I don't know why I'm walking slowly. <laughs> we both look so bizarre. Oh, good point. By the way, I'm not walking. It's making me look like I'm walking, but I'm not. I'm not pressing any buttons right now. Okay, I'm going to bring down the ship, or you can, either way, it's fine with me. Bring down the ship. Oh, I love when the lights go on. I want to see the lights. Oh. All right, I'll do it. I 
I see the fan turning. It just doesn't want to go for me. I think it's stuck. There's um, so many tricksies with the, with the uh, animations in general that I might have to, whoop. There we go, boom. It went fast, but it went. Is it okay if I don't sit in the chair? Will I see it, whoa. It went back up again. Again. I am not going to sit in the chair. Is that okay? That way it doesn't screw me up. No, sit, sit. Okay. But I'm in it. It's going to do the same problem. Yeah, that's the bug. So what if I just sit? All right. Thank you everyone for your patience. <laughs> My coffee's not here yet, so I'm all right. Come here, it may work. Okay, unless it doesn't. Why don't you try picking up the chair and putting it back down again? Nope. I'm in the chair again. Oh, I see your point. <gasps> it worked. It worked this time. Third person. All right, here we go, guys. I hope. Look at it. We're in third person. Yay, it's working. This was so worth it. Check this shit out. This is amazing. Okay, it really does look good from both views. I'm having a hard time deciding which view I like better. Dead. We killed a Nyx. And now we are landing. This is amazing. Totally worth it. Good job. And you fixed it. Yay! Good job. <laughs> yeah, this is Bayushi for you. She made a spaceship. And it runs. Isn't that a crazy? Yeah, the chair did get bugged. But that's not your fault. That's that's Zoss problems. Thank you, Beishi. This is beautiful. Amazing, amazing work. That's a masterpiece. It really is. With a lot of animations. A lot of them. Oops. No, thank you. It was amazing. Crazy. I 
exothermic Hibby Rothy. Hello. We are just going to look at a couple more on EU. So this is a Forsaken. I haven't done a Forsaken yet. And I don't know this person, which is another good thing. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was it was all her doing. The Nyx deserves it. It's a bug after all. So this is exothermic. This is their Forsaken. No effects. <laughs> 600 out of 600 items. Really good use of Hectahane. That would be cool. Vivek is holding the music box, as one does, when they're not holding a spear. What a clever way of closing things off. Or not. Actually, that wasn't closed. Look at the turtle! No, I believe it. The anus monster has something in its anus. That's unfortunate. This is all bound to kill me and scary. Yeah, he really should. There's all sorts of scariness going on, folks. Thanks for the follow, Bale. We're looking at dead scary things. We've had all sorts of funny. Well, maybe his spear is the ivory and it's just a very small spear. I mean, he did make it out of something he bit off the tip of someone else's spear. So maybe it's small. You know? That's just lore I'm quoting here. This isn't even me making it up. Oh, is this a jumping puzzle? Was this one of the... Yeah, you can kiss my ass. I ain't jumping up that. No way. That's exactly what they claim it. it is. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. This may have been a jumping puzzle. Excuse me. Oh, thank you so much. I've been sitting here moaning and whining. Mm -hmm. ah, all is right with the world. That's an interesting combination. Those are three different beasties. Yes, he is. So you've got... It's two different beasties. Interesting. Statuary. Coffee hero. Why wouldn't you want these to be the fixed ones up? Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Feasties. Trophies combined with other trophies combined. Is this a mount or a trophy? I'm thinking this is a, mostly a trophy house where they make combination. This is just a, a combination of all sorts of different items to make a tableau almost. Don't tell anyone. There's like tableau stuff going on here because there's multiple connected things with lighting added to them and, and trophies attached to pets and 
all sorts of stuff. This is very much more than just trophies. It's it's combinations. I put my kitchen in here too. A little back pantry area. Up we go. Well then Volendrong is probably somewhere around here. Look at the little details. And an Azabi. Bathroom. I want that uh, tapestry, but I don't have, I've never done all of the quests in Craglorm. It's still pretty and I have no AP, so. This is unfortunate for whoever ends up here. That's clever. Look at that. That throne using the gargoyle right on top of it. No, I don't like killing people. And the shelving is really smart too. Those are sconces on either end of a regular shelf. You're a mutagen. I don't know what that means. It is wild. I think maybe just one more because I'm burnt. Sweet mother, sweet mother. All right, we'll do another Lauren. We'll do their boulder tree because we haven't done one. And then we'll be done with A. Lawrence unless she publishes more. Jukebox Hero. All right. Ow. Okay. So this is a Lauren who likes to put lots of little details throughout a house. So I'm going to have to explore the whole thing. This is um, 400 out of 400 items and three effects. One of those effects is this effect of leaves falling, which I love. I think we should use it more often. I think it's really kind of a sweet effect. I never know which way to go first, but oh, look at that. I love these mushrooms. They look so natural. Good choice. Okay, so they put a mushroom inside the pod and then put mushrooms on the mushroom. And in the mushroom, they put a light. This is very lush. The, these mushrooms are not point part of the build. So she's added all of them. And I think it looks beautiful and it brings interest up. You're not just looking down at the ground and seeing what's here. You also look up and there's lights and things and there's, there's stuff to look at if you look up, which doesn't surprise, wow. Look at the, look at what she's turned the pods into to giant shrooms. I wonder if dark elves live here with along with Bosmer. And that's why it has shrooms. It seems more tell maybe she's turned them into Telvani homes, mushroom homes instead of uh that would explain the dark elf stuff rather than actual um, no, I think that 
I think there's no Bosmer. I think this is all Talvani. When I'm looking at it, I see only Talvani furniture. There's mushrooms added as the pods. So it strikes me that this is actually a Talvani home and not a Bosmer home. Which is an interesting way to make one. Although this stuff is more vaguely more Bosmer, but maybe they're the slaves or the workers. Such a goof nut. Well, here's your dark elf. A silt strider station. Oh my god, this is amazing. That's incredible. I am absolutely blown away by this. This is so good. I'm blown away. Good job. Good job, Elorn. I know sometimes you watch these afterwards. They stole what? From who? I never saw anyone else have a silt strider station. Did somebody else have one? Oh, that's the first one I've ever seen. Or are you saying they stole, stole a silt strider? Oh, derp. I get what you're saying now. They stole the silt strider from, from Dark Elves. Derp, got it. That looks so neat. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just digging the Seltzer Rider here so perfectly. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It cracks me up. I think I saw it. Look, they even hit a little Nyx hound over here. Yeah, not soon enough. <laughs> I can make burr noises if you like. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> like a weird dog thing. What's over here? Oh, they closed it off. What a cool one. That is really neat. I am, I am actually really, really impressed. Especially with the, the Nick sound. I mean, the, the Nick, um, Silt Rider. Words are hard. I was going to call it, but let's do one more. If I can. This one was so much fun with the Silt Rider. And Josh. No. Let's see if which ones are not blocked off. Architect. Dawn Shadow. Okay, this should be it then. Architect 2702 Dawn Shadow. Be right back. <clears throat> Could you pop my burrito in the microwave? Sure. Thank you. I'll be out in a few. Goodness, it is snowing. I wish I could show you guys. Why do I live here? In the cold. The cold, awful north. Alright. Here we are. Visiting a home. Oh, pretty! We've got all the glowies. All of the glows. And a Zabi and an Indrik. And lots and lots of jungly, gardeny, glowy plants. Beautiful. Oh, wow, look what they did. They put those moon vines in all of the trees. 
Ooh. You can have all of it. You can have all the snow you like. You can have whatever you like. Pretty. So this is like, you know, a combination of everything is really pretty, but I want to also have a, a house where I can craft and kill things and sell stuff. It's like that kind of a combo. Are you guys, where, wait, where are you guys? I thought, is anybody in Australia? Is that why? Because I know you guys have had an awful time, but the Aussies. And this is very researchy. We've got not just the books, but all the science-y stuff too. I lived in Southern California for 13 years and I miss it. I don't miss my ex-husband. I don't miss my old life, but I, hello Armachillo. That is a cute name, but I miss my, the weather. I wish I could have the weather back. The weather was the best part. Gosh, this is like crazy how many items they added into this. Like, I'm actually kind of shocked at how, how full it feels. You know, like there's tons and tons and tons of stuff in this. And it, neat little fireplaces too, just stuck into the corner. This whole house is just wild. Oh, okay. I lived in Los Angeles on the border of OC and LA. So, you know, we mostly had the warm weather anyway. So that wasn't anything new. This is just beautiful. What a good job. Sadly, Armachillo, you came in right at the last uh, house that I was going to do. So I'm going to call it. But I will chat with y'all later. And I will see you. So get working on your 2020 because that's the next contest. And I will see you all later. And have a good one. Bye.